Greetings, folks. Apologies for the radio silence on the channel. Um, been up to a few things. I did say that after having started this year by theming each month's hobby and output and thus video channel content, um, that I was going to pause it because I had a few projects coming up for the club and also for a campaign I was playing in. That is indeed the case, and I'll do some videos on all of that. But this video is all about the very excellent and most enjoyable Line Rampant campaign I had with my good friend, regular gaming opponent and all-round wargaming luminary, Mr. Barry Lee. Um, for those of you who play to the strongest, he'll be a very familiar name and face. Um, anyway, Barry and I played a five-game campaign of Line Rampant after dipping our toes in with a couple of tester games, My Arthurians against his late Romans. So uh, what's coming up now is a brief chat with Barry whilst I have him as a captive audience in a car whilst he was giving me a lift somewhere. <laughs> and um, a slideshow from some pictures of some of the games we played and a little few turntable shots of uh, my Arthurian forces from that featured in that campaign. Enjoy. Back soon with more videos. Thanks for watching. All right, well, whilst uh, you're looking at a slideshow of uh, photographs of uh, some Lion Rampant games I've been playing, I'm actually sat in the car with uh, my good friend and all-round good egg and wargaming luminary Barry Lee. And uh, Barry's the chap I've been playing this Lion Rampant campaign with. Now, um, what did you make of it all, Barry? It was pretty good, wasn't it? It was, uh, yeah, it's the first time I've played a campaign in quite a little while, actually. Yeah. Uh, uh, done something similar with Saga about five or six years ago, but uh, I like the way you can string string a number of games together. It gives each individual game more of a purpose. So it, it worked quite well. It did. I, I mean, I'm... The idea of a campaign game is, or campaign games, I should say, is something that's always appealed to me, but um, I dipped my toe in with 40k a couple of years ago, but there was so much bloody bookkeeping. It was, I just, like, you know, invent a little narrative for your army, um, have a reason for, you know, going from one fight to another, and then go for it, rather than lots of bookkeeping and so on. But, um, I mean, that aside, and that was fun, um, what do you think about Nine Rampant as a system? Because it was a, a, a new departure for both of us, wasn't it? Playing well, that. yeah, it's, it's kind of a skirmish game, but not a very small skirmish game. There's, there's about, uh, we end up with about six units per side in a, in a 24 point game. So you've got, what, 50 or 60 figures on the table, depending on yeah, you yeah. Know, how good they are. Uh, it could be less, it could be more. Well, that's a reasonable size introduction army to any any sort of period, really. You could go on and build that army up and play Hell Seal or some Caesar with it if you got something, you know, more troops you add to it. But for, for a starter, it's a really good game. It's also very well written and very simple to follow. We picked up in no time, I think. Exactly. I mean, I'd, I'd owned the book for a, a while, because I mean, a while ago, Jim at the Games Bunker, where we. Uh, we were to play our games. He's um, he was sort of wondering and thinking aloud about doing some hundred years war stuff with it and expanding the rules for bigger battles. But um, yeah, I think um, that's where it started, isn't it? Line ramp. And originally it was a kind of a medieval, late medieval mm. uh, game, and then they sort of brought the name would suggest to, that as well, wouldn't yeah, it? I suppose, yeah. Back to um, dark ages, and now in this iteration, I think. Uh, well, if you look on their Facebook page and see all the different variants, aside from what's in the book, you can play anything from biblical area. There's uh, people playing chariots rampant, I think, and, <laughs> uh, and right up to fantasy war games with with dragon rampant. So it's a it's a good core structure of simple set of rules um, with nuances for each different sort of period that you're playing. Absolutely. I mean, you mentioned introductory, and he yeah, was a good introduction to starting something bigger. And a, a young fellow down at the club who observed a couple of the games you and I played, um, I gave him an introduction to the system where um, clearly I'd used up my entire life's quota of rolling sixes in the last game you and I played because um, I had my backside handed to me on a very well polished but beginner plate from Boy Harry. Um, but yes, great introductory system, and as you said, is it was we, we picked it up in no time. And I'm I am notorious for being, pardon my language, crap with rules. You know, I'll, I'll play, enthusiastically collect and paint models and play games, but 
I'm constantly relying upon my opponent to be more knowledgeable of everything I'm playing than uh, than I am. But no, overall, I thought it was damn good fun, as well as you know being easy to get to grips with as a system. Yep, uh, easy easy campaign system too, because uh, you, there's not really any bookkeeping. You, the only downside is that you're playing with almost the same army from from one battle to the next, and there's no it's totally balanced, so it's equal points values each time. Yeah, uh, there was there was some you know the loser can you know change yeah, six change. points worth of yeah. his army or yeah. whatever. And I, I did make a couple of changes across the course of the five games, but yeah. um, it's just a good way of stringing five or six different scenarios together. And um, you know, as I said before, it's a, you've got an op opportunity to play several games in a row, but each game then has a purpose because you want to win glory points by capturing or, or taking the various different objectives in each game and uh, hopefully winning the uh, overall campaign, which I didn't. <laughs> oh dear. Right, okay, well, um, thank you for that, and your uh, giving us your considered opinion there, Barry. It, uh, it was a most enjoyable game, and I heartily recommend it to anybody who's, uh, who's watching. So, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely.